Hey everyone, and look what it is! Xenosaga episode 3, and it's in freaking actual proper widescreen without me having to stretch the screen. Yes, I actually got the widescreen hack working for this game, and I've tested it. I've tested the game. Hopefully everything should work properly. There's only one possible thing that could glitch out because there's apparently a glitch with the flashback cutscenes in this game that can cause a black bar at the bottom, but I do know how to fix it. I just didn't want to do the fix because it the fix you have to do also gets rid of the sepia tone from the flashbacks. Yes, I'm playing it on an emulator. Yes, I have a physical copy. Don't at me. It looks so good in this HD, though. Also, this is my favorite Xenosaga game. Yeah, even though we'll get to it when I start it, but it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> the beginning doesn't make much sense. Uh, by ordering episode clear to clear data. I have the same file from my other Let's Play. Oh dear. Okay. Uh, okay. So no, I finished settings. Okay. <laughs> Let's do this. Hopefully there's no lag. See, like, this sepia tone and some of the film effects here wouldn't be there. And, like, the uh, blurriness of the flashback scene wouldn't be there if I was using the setting to get rid of the potential glitch. This is what happens when you emulate games. They look so goddamn good, but also you end up having to reset your emulator every time you play a new game. <laughs> also, how do none of those gnosis see those two? Like, they will chase my ass down. But they won't chase down two people trying to sneak their way through open fields. I. Also, obvious Kevin hair is obvious. <laughs> also, because the neck, the necklace that Shion now has that she got is a gift from Kevin. Mommy's a gnosis now! <laughs> yep. Mama's a gnosis. Oh shit. Mama's an alien. But yeah, that's obviously Kevin. That's obviously Kevin. <laughs> if you don't know who Kevin is, go watch my other Xenosaga Let's Play. Specifically Xenosaga 1. Because I don't want to give any spoilers for this game, but that's when he's introduced. He's more in Xenosaga 1 than he is in Xenosaga 2. Like, mentions of him. Because he's... dead. It looks so pretty in HD. It's so pretty. Like, who knew a PlayStation like game could look are this going good? Smoothly. Are they, though? You're as friendly as ever. Heh. <laughs> well, you sure are pulling out the big gun. I haven't played this game since high school. <sighs> Do we really need this thing? Probably. The space time anomaly 15 years ago took place in an incomplete fashion. They're talking about uh, old Milsha, the Milshan incident. We must correct the error. You know, because we went to Milsha at the end of the second game, and they talk about it constantly. Hmm. So, you knew all along, huh? You're one scary guy. I bet you can't wait to see the look on her face when she finally knows everything. Your cloak's also glitching into your arm, Mr. Red Testament. <laughs> so, this is our princess? Yes, in a glowing casket. She smells good. That's creepy as fuck, dude. I've fallen in You're love You're a creep. Already. This man's a creep. Which is even funnier later, but that man's a creep. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
Yeah, the FMVs are still in lower quality because they're pre-rendered. But not as glitchy as the ones in the second game. Shut up, Shion. You're Sh Shion is such an asshole in this game. <laughs> Shion is such an asshole. Out of the gate, she's an asshole. She's always been a low-key asshole in 1 and 2, but in Xenosaga Episode 3, she is just an asshole. Consistently. Oh, you two make a fine pair. Eh, Doc hi, Doc Tooth. <laughs> 3 at 7 o'clock. You got it? Yeah, I'm on it. See, here's the part that makes no sense. They're infiltrating Vector. And at the end of Zona Saga 2, Shion was still working for Vector. An entire game takes place between Zeno Saga 2 and 3 that never got made. <laughs> the actual Zeno Saga 3, this one, was supposed to be Zeno Saga Episode 4. But because of how badly 2 did, they ended up having to scrap some of the things, and instead of making the 3 that they wanted to make, they ended up making 4 so they could round out the series. <laughs> Which, by the way, Zeno Saga Episode 5, was supposed to be a remake of Xenogears, and Xenosaga Episode was 6 Kanan. was supposed well, to be a sequel to Xenogears. We don't have time for that Just kind FYI. Of thing, Has anything come up on the scanner yet? Shion, you're such a jerk. I hope you understand that what we're after poses a considerable threat to Vector. I'd appreciate you taking the situation more seriously. Exactly. I don't care if you get yourself killed. Just don't take us down with you. Don't be so mean to Miyuki. All right, all right, fine. <laughs> Miyuki didn't Why do anything so wrong. Picking on me. Because you're so easy to pick on, Miyuki. <laughs> um. Well. Yeah, I mean, look is at this, this. It, Miyuki. I when I was testing this game, I was kind of awestruck by how good this game looks on an emulator. Holy crap! I mean, this was a later PS2 game, but. Confirming coordinates. Yep. Perfect. Like, if you go compare this game to Xenosaga Episode 2, which was done on an emulator, and granted, I have a much more powerful computer than I did for Xenosaga Episode 2. However, this game's fucking gorgeous. <laughs> no doubt about it. This is Vector's S-Line division. Then the top secret data we want is just ahead. I'll handle backup. You three take care of the rest. Okay. You're not gonna help, Doctus? Don't depend on others to do everything for you. God, Shion, you're such an asshole. <laughs> Usus magister est optimus. Uh, I... <laughs> Bye, Doctus. Hurry. Okay, here. Just to show you guys how this looks, since I'm on the PS2 emulator, I can actually click off screen with my mouse. Okay, so here's how the game looks, right? If I was to put it into its native PS2 resolution, yeah, that this is pretty much how it looked on a PS2, <laughs> with with a little bit because I do still have my other graphics um, settings on like filtering and stuff. But then I put it back to where I had it. <laughs> I want to be as reasons why as emulation is awesome. <laughs> as long as you own the games and you have paid. As long as you own the games and you've paid for them as long as they are within the scope of purchasing. Like, for on honestly, I may just end up recording Kuan one of these days, even though I don't own the game. Because I really want to record I know, that game. I know. But it costs six hundred dollars? Uh no. <laughs> even though I would kill for a copy of it. Granted, I have some very expensive PS2 games. And PS1 games. Mostly PS2. No, seriously, I have a, a very good condition copy of Rule of Rose and Haunting Ground, both of which go for about 600 bucks a piece. <laughs> oh, I forgot to tell you, but in order to successfully carry out this mission, blah, 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 this, this doesn't matter, this is just, yeah. <laughs> it's a tutorial. Don't give a fuck. I know how to play this game. This is the Xenosaga game I have played the most. Vector's S-Line Division. Yes, we got the same vaguely 
Zohar-esque things. Yeah, the, and this is my save file from when I was testing. Do, 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 do. But yeah, I have an upgraded computer. So emulation comes much easier. Like you guys did, there was no slowdown during any of that. Hmm, I can't go any farther. It's probably safer to just destroy this than to find another route. Anything can be destroyed. It will be locked on automatically. Just press square to destroy it. Boom. Adam. Adam. But yes, this is by far the superior Xenosaga game. I only have one gripe with it, and when we get to our first battle, I'll tell you what the gripe is. The two pretty cool objects, blah, blah. Blah, 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 It's a puzzle! Better think about the order I destroy the objects. Like this, and this, and this. <laughs> Baby's first puzzle. <laughs> Alright, let's get the fuck out. Also, the camera works really good in this game. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, segment addresses make a return. But yeah, there's one. This game is still very similar to the um, way Xenosaga 1 and 2 were set up. Again, with one major difference that we'll get to once we get to the first battle. Because they did make major a major change to the battle system that I am not the biggest fan of, honestly. I mean, I guess I get why they did it, but... Oh yeah, and also I know exactly where I'm going. <laughs> Again, I've played this game a lot. And also, I got all the way to the boss fight of this dungeon when I was testing. Because there was a weird graphical glitch on the floor where there was a black screen following the character, but only on the floor. So it was sort of like my purple walls and purple floor of doom from when I was um, emulated Fatal Frame 3, but it was solid black. <laughs> so I ended up having to do a bunch of testing to figure out what was causing it. But thankfully I figured it out so, you know, there's not a giant floor square following Xion everywhere. Again, the reasons why you have to always do testing when you're emulating a new game. Blue, red, yellow, white. Blue, red, yellow, white. Blue, blue, red, yellow, white. Blue, red, <laughs> yellow, white. Baby's first puzzle yet again. Even though the um, FMVs are still pre-rendered, compare Xenosaga 2 to Xenosaga 3's FMVs is like comparing an apple to an orange. <laughs> except the except the apple is half rotten. I mean, I love Xenosaga 2, don't get me wrong. But man, does that game have some uncanny valley, valley issues and some animation issues in its FMV cutscenes. <laughs> That this one thankfully does not um, deal with. And also, this is the, um, if I remember correctly, this is the only Xenosaga game that actually has a FMV viewer. So you can actually go back and watch the FMVs without, I kid you not, because I did this, and if you didn't do this with a PlayStation 2 RPG game, you're lying. I totally had an entire memory card that was just devoted to, um, it would be just devoted to this game or to Final Fantasy X, where I would save right before a major cutscene so I could go back and watch my favorite cutscenes. <laughs> you don't have to do that in this game, thankfully. There's a guard system. Let's go punch its face off. I can handle this alone. Also, nice uh, Easter egg there. The weapon Muth is using. It's the exact same weapon that was Xion's weapon in the first Xenosaga game. 
Bah, 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 bah. Also, it's kind of funny that we have Kanan here, seeing as, again, Kanan was a Vector Realian. When we last saw Kanan, he was a Vector Realian. Miyuki works for Vector, and as we find out later, still works for Vector. Shion used to be high up in Vector's Vectoriness, and now is working as part of an anti Vector frickin' organization. Again, there is literally an entire game between Xenosaga 2 and 3 that barely gets explained in Xenosaga 3. The only reason that you can find out in depth what the fuck happened is if you go read the database. And yes, this game actually has a database. Whoops, wrong button. I get too excited when I'm just looking on things. By category, alphabetical, events, gnosis terrorism. Yes, this. This entire document here, which I will not read, maybe I'll do it as a codex um, on uh, my secondary YouTube channel. But yeah, it's they'll sort of lampshade over why the hell Xion is suddenly part of an anti-vector freaking low-key sort of terrorist group. But yeah. This game starts a little in medias res and then doesn't explain what happened before it very well. <laughs> Unless you start reading freaking database entries. Don't tell me what to do, mom. Don't tell me what to do! I want to murder, okay? So yeah, like I was gonna- I didn't- I forgot to say it during the first fight, but this is the issue that I have with this game. You see that we have a regular command menu. Like any RPG, like any milk toast RPG, any Final Fantasy game. Um, instead of the press, you know, square or circle or triangle to get different attacks, depending on whether you wanted to hit somebody in the front row or the back row, or if you wanted to use a different sort of attack on him because they were weak. Much less in depth battle system, in my opinion. It's the only gripe I have about this game, really. Well, there's two. The battle system is much less in-depth, and Shion is a complete asshole in this game. But... Rude. Even to the point where... I mean, it's a, the battle system isn't entirely, you know, not nuanced, but it's definitely much less nuanced than the, um, than one or two. Definitely much less nuanced than two. Oh, go to the front. Gimme. Nom 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 nom. Is there anything over here? Ah, boom. Yay! Though this game did not bring back my favorite thing from Xenosaga 1, the ability to go into an eggs unit in the middle of combat and completely smoke everything. It'll only take three minutes. Sadly. This game still does have the tried and true, um, even in the American version, circle being enter and X being cancel. Which is always confusing. <laughs> Because, for those who don't know, in a lot of Japanese PlayStation, um, in PlayStation 2 games, circle is the enter button and X is the cancel button. But for some reason, in American versions of the games, um, or in American PlayStation games, it's the opposite. I never, I was never clear on the reason why, but for some reason in the US, in PlayStation games, X is almost always enter and circle is almost always cancel. Except for the odd game like this. <laughs> this game, circle is enter and X is cancel. <laughs> because fuck consistency. Uh, go over here. Oh, no, I can't go over here yet. Right. Yeah, more puzzles. Press the switch, press the switch. Oh, 
Oh crap. <laughs> it's a sneaky sneaky. Yeah, you have ether, magic, and special attacks. These require boost levels. So yeah, you use unlike the um, other games, which are slightly different, similar but slightly different. Use your special attacks by using boosts. Oh hi dear. Can I get past you please? Please? Please. I don't want to fight. Well bye! <laughs> now one of these is a monster. It's not this one, okay. Because I vaguely remember from my testing, the one this one has a monster in it, so I'm not gonna blow it up. Let me alone! I just want to, I just want to go boom. I just want things to go boom. And not, you know, have monsters. I'd rather not. Don't like monsters. They don't like me neither, so it's okay. Yeah, this this game is much more your standard sort of RPG from what I remember. Which on one hand I like, but on the other hand it took away some of the uh, specialness that this franchise had. I wish that they'd managed to make the entire series they wanted to, because I've still never played Xenogears. One of these days I want to. I really, really want to, but no, I've still not played Xenogears. Maybe, maybe one of these days, once I finish this series out, I'll see where it started with the original game. Even though the story has changed a lot since Xenogears time. The creator of this the creators of the series if I remember correctly, I watched a video on Xenogears where it explained it was written and, like, the storyline was come up with by a, um, man and woman, like a husband-wife team at Square Enix with the original Xenogears, and then it sort of, the story sort of spawned out into this multiple six-game long saga idea that turned into Xenosaga. And then we have Xeno, we have the Xenoblade Chronicles, which I've also not played. To go all the way back up there. God damn it. But sadly, I can't play Xenoblade Chronicles. I have. Um, I think I have the system to play the first one. But I don't have the syst I don't have a Nintendo Switch. So I can't play the sequel. And I can't play the HD version of the originals. One of these days I want to. I just can't yet. Someday. Someday. And we're out of here. <laughs> My rabbit is staring at me funny. I think they want dinner now. I'll give you dinner after I'm done recording. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> I'm such a professional YouTuber. I'm just talking to my pets when I'm supposed to be recording. I am the most professional. <laughs> and by most, I mean least professional. It's a guard system. Might as well use the trap that I just got. And blah blah blah. I need to set it with R2 and square. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, and it gives you boosts. It gives you boosty boots. Okay, let's see what your special attack is. Break bash. Break bash. That one. It did. <laughs> Get him! Not a challenge! Do, 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 yeah, also the a level up system is much less in depth. Because you acquire stuff automatically based on your level. You have some skill line, skill tree stuff, but not as. Granted, the system in Xenosog episode 2 is convoluted as fuck, so I'm kind of glad that they changed it, but. I can handle still. this alone! And I found a new area. I meant to say something when I was leaving the other one, but I got sort of into jamming with the music. <laughs> but you know, like you do. Second Milsha main server room ahead. Access to the main server is currently restricted. All security must be disengaged in order to log in. I'm kind of concerned, like why is the login voice Miyuki's voice? <laughs> I mean, usually there's no audio for things like that. Disengaging secondary security. Little did we know, Miyuki was actually a voice actress in her spare time. 
when she wasn't, you know, breaking into her own company's server rooms. <laughs> Saying as yes, Miyuki still works for Vector in this game. Disengaging even though she on security. Do, 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 do. I, I suspect, because I know it was true for me, that when people played this game originally, they were so confused about what the fuck was going on right now. Primary security. Because I know I was incredibly confused. So yeah, we're breaking into Vector's server. This is fine. I don't want to save again because I believe there's a fight. But also... It's about time for me to end the video. And yes, we haven't heard much and you still don't know what the fuck's going on, but it's Xenosaga. It's gonna be cryptic as hell, y'all know that. <laughs> My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager and I have been playing some Xenosaga Episode 3, Also Sprach Zarathustra, and I pronounced that terribly, but that's the subtitle. I'll see you all.